Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another D&D towny makeover for a possible Let's Play or some kind of other future video. And even if I don't end up doing anything with all these townies, um, this is just kind of a fun idea to do anyways. Last time I did the Goth family, and today I'm doing the Pancakes family, which consists of Bob and Eliza Pancakes. I know that there is another version of the Pancake Fair family on the gallery with a son named Iggy I believe is what his name was but I decided I'm just gonna do based off of what is preloaded in the game because uh, one it gives me a little less uh, sims to work with I'm not sure if the pancakes are the only family that EA updated to include children or not but this is Bob and he is technically a human but I made him also a werewolf, and consider we don't have werewolves in the game, so I guess as far as the the Sims game is concerned, he's actually a vampire. So like I made his vampire form look like a werewolf, and honestly, I think it looks really cool. And I updated his look a little bit. I did keep his his beard the same because uh, that's kind of iconic for him, but I did give him a different hairstyle. Because honestly, I thought this hairstyle looked a little bit nicer on him than his old style. And it kind of just gave him a new, refreshed look. Here, I was actually debating on adding the fox ears and tail for his uh, werewolf form. And honestly, it just did not work. But I have a couple screenshots here of him. I actually had to go back in the game and take a screenshot of his werewolf form because I forgot to do that the first time around. That's why it's a little off-center. I tried to match it the best I could. But I made him, like, I would say that him and Eliza are a little bit on the poor end, but Bob basically will take the hit of having to deal with wearing the older clothing, while his wife, as you're going to see in a moment, is going to be wearing a lot of nicer outfits. I was trying to figure out what I wanted each of them to be, and you saw I did uh, make Bob a werewolf. And I tried to figure what would be able to handle werewolf because I knew I wanted Eliza and Bob to be like different races because I wanted to have that. I felt like they would be a little bit different considering how they, they're not exactly in the happiest of marriages. So I decided Eliza is actually a half orc and I was able to find these orc teeth for her so they were like really great. I will include all the custom content in the description below as I always do. And Eliza, as you can see here, wears a little bit of nicer clothing. She does have, like, some nice accessories, and um, some of her other dresses are a little bit nicer. And like I said, poor Bob, he kind of, he does everything for his wife to make her happy. And as you see, like, right there is a really nice gown that she's wearing. But of course, you know, Eliza is just never happy with her husband. And honestly, it's kind of sad, and I'll be honest, I don't really like Eliza at all. And I don't know why I ended up adding the helmet here. Maybe she would have looked a lot better without it. Um, yeah, you're going to see in like a second I had the helmet. I like the armor on her for her athletic wear because of her being a half-orc. I felt like she might at least have some training like in fighting. But I, I, I guess the helmet just kind of just gave her a little bit something different to go... I I wasn't really sure my thought process here. I was just trying to like mix it up between orc and someone that thinks they're royalty when they're really not. I hope that makes any sense here. And um you know, I tried to like make sure that she looked pretty consistent with her outfits, like the same glasses. I didn't want to change their looks way too much, but I wanted to change them at least to give them a little bit of an updated look and a little bit more of like a fantasy look. I ended up not messing with Eliza's makeup at all because I figured I still wanted to keep a bit of who she was in her look, even though I did change, you know, quite a bit as far as like her hairstyle, her clothes, and obviously her skin tone and the fact that she's an orc now instead of a human. And I, I tried to like, kind of keep a theme going with her, try to not make her look too wealthy and too well off, but at the same time, obviously her husband is spoiling her, buying her nicer outfits to try to make her feel like she's royalty, even though she's not. And she very clearly thinks that she's higher than what she really is. 
And yeah, I thought it was really interesting, these two. So unlike the goth family video, I actually ended up remodeling the pancakes house. For the most part, it's basically how EA set it up. A lot of the furniture is the same. I just changed the colors. I just did like a green and brown theme. But I did change a couple things. Like I got rid of their TV. I got rid of the grill. I tried to get rid of like most electronics because I was trying to make it look a little bit more... Like, it would be around, like, the Dark Ages or, like, the Renaissance Age. I didn't know exactly what age period I was going for. I was just trying to go for a little bit more of a fantasy theme. So, while, yes, there is kind of some modern, like, furniture and things like that, I tried my best to limit how much I had there. And, like, I redid the entire outside. I redid the roof, and I fixed the roofing up a little bit to just make things line up a little bit more like the way EA makes some of their builds are a little strange and I know I'm not the only one that said that I've heard plenty of people say that so <laughs> at least I know I'm not alone there like and yeah the houses are pretty bare I did add a little bit of decor but really not as much as I should have I do like what I did with their house I think it's really fitting and in the long run, they ended up having a little bit more money than what they did before. Because, like, I got rid of their curtains and stuff, too. Because none of the curtains I really liked with the window. So I ended up not going for it. And I, like, as you can see here, I recolored basically everything on the inside to match what the outside was. I, I don't know if maybe I could have just, like, done a different walls and floorings. But, like, my logic was, like... The fact that since the outside walls looked like this, it would really look better, um, you know, everything matching. And I'm honestly not the best at, like, this style of housing still, and I'm trying to learn. And I'm, I'm definitely going to have to learn because uh, this style is going to be very popular in this world that I'm... The save I'm making, I mean, that world. So, yeah, I, I think... I think it's actually pretty cool because, like, I changed all the lights, as you can see right here. Like, all the lights are candlelight. And, honestly, it, like, gives it this odor feel. And, again, I I just recolored a lot of things. And, as you see, like, right there, I was struggling because, like, the counters or the, what are they called? Not the countertops, the upper part. I forget what it's called right offhand. But they didn't quite connect properly. But I just said, you know what, forget it. I'm going to do that and just go with it here. And there I am, like, just replacing everything. I actually intended to put something on that little table there. And I totally forgot about it. So, I mean, if you end up downloading this, feel free to add more details to it. Like I said, any design I end up putting up, I'm totally fine with people, like, redesigning and if you do re-upload it like please give me credit for at least partial I mean yeah this is an EA build but I did I did fix it up at least a little bit because I did have to like get rid of some things and I had to replace some things like the lights especially they were the big ones I can't have all these modern lights um I did struggle with like what I wanted to do as far as the toilets and the and the tubs and stuff go so I just tried to use ones that looked like they were kind of in the odor theme um like basically everything's made out of wood and it honestly like i guess you know it's still pretty much the pancake house like i definitely kept their personality you know they still have separate bedrooms which honestly poor bob i mean everything he's doing for eliza and she's she makes him have his own room i mean maybe that's a good thing for him i mean he might he might be better off without sharing a room with her. I don't know. But, yeah, I, I do like... I like how it looks now, definitely compared to how EA did theirs. Um, but, yeah. I didn't remodel the Goth's house at all. I might end up going through and remodeling it. Because I know they do have some modern stuff, like TVs and stuff in there. But the outside of the house itself was honestly really good for the theme I'm going for in this world. So... If I do a remodel, I don't know if I'll do a video on it or not. If I'll just do it and, like, if I end up, like, making some kind of Let's Play or some kind of series or something with these Sims and this world and this save, 
I'll just like obviously have it in there somewhere because I feel like the goth family is going to be very important in there. So here are some screenshots of the finished build. I tried to, you know, like I said, tried to get like that old time theme theme going on, like that garden there, I think would actually be really cute to use, you know, maybe, maybe Eliza's in the garden. I don't know. Maybe Bob's actually doing it. But I really do hope that you guys like this series I'm doing so far. Please let me know like what you think of Eliza and Bob in the comments below. Did you like me adding the house to this video? Or would you rather me do a separate video for the house and the and the creative sim? Please let me know in the comments below what you what you would prefer. If you prefer, I could just do a separate video where I remodel every house and I talk my my ideas about each of the houses through, but I figured I'd try it this way to see what everyone thought. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like before you go, subscribe if you're new to my channel, share this video with a friend, and again, like, let me know what you think of this family. Honestly, I think that this was kind of fitting for them. I did want to have, like, a human sim, but, you know, I... I kind of really wanted to use that werewolf skin that I had, so that's why Bob became a werewolf. But alright everyone, I hope you all have a magical day. Bye!